everyone and welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome to you I'm going to be reading for the lovely star sign of libra and we always have to sing for libra before we get into the cards i sat quietly and the words i had for you this week libra were they say you need to be cruel to be kind but kind is the one keeping you going Forget the rules, they do not matter. Try to see what your heart is showing. That nothing really matters. So be happy and be free. Loneliness is only a shadow that fear puts on the wall for you to see. So yeah, it was uh, basically saying you need to be cruel to be kind but not to be too harsh because at the end of the day, kindness has been keeping you going in this metaphorical, cryptic message of mine this week. And it was saying, forget the rules, okay? Uh, go with what your heart is showing you at this moment in time, as in do things you love, um, start following your passions, be happy and free, and loneliness is only a shadow that fear puts on the wall. Because I felt some of my Librans get to a point sometimes where they can sit there thinking, you know, I feel quite isolated. I feel there's no one I can really confide or talk, in, or, or talk to. Um, and it was that kind of an energy what I was sort of picking up with the Librans this week. So we'll get into your cards and we will see how the story for Libra comes out this week. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the readings then. What have we got for the lovely Libra? Libra. Spirit, what do we need to hear? What do we need to see? Please bring out the cards on the table. For me what's going on for the Librans then what have we got for Libra oh definitely wanted to fly out so we have the three of cups and we have the two of pentacles The Three of Cups energy comes in for a couple of things. It's an energy where you feel you're going round and round in circles, okay? Just keep going round in circles and not really feeling like you're achieving or progressing from something. But also, there's the energy here of two companies and three is a crowd, okay? Now, obviously, that's not going to resonate for everybody, but I just feel for some of you this week, um, there's an outside influence being nosy, okay, wanting to know your business, sort of um, thinking they're missing out on something. So it's to be mindful that there's an energy around you. This could be in a work ethic. It could be in family, you know, where somebody wants to poke the nose in. So two's company, three's a crowd. So I just feel to be aware this week that someone wants to know some information about you or trying to pick your brains about something. And it's like to say, you're not wanted. It's like an energy that is not wanted around you. The two of pentacles comes in and that's trying to keep balance this week. I feel there's something presented to you where you feel it's a tall order. And the energy says rise above it as well. You need to rise above something this week. Somebody could say something to you, okay, and it takes you back thinking, what, what right have they got to say that to me? Okay, and it sort of puts you on a back foot. 
hence why you have to rise above this. I also feel you need to balance your emotions. There's a lot of blue in this card, okay? And it's, it's trying to keep your emotions intact. Let's just get a few more cards out and we'll see how this uh, story is going to pan out for you this week. So beware the nosy parkers. Beware somebody trying to um, get some information from you. Okay, and you're just thinking, hello. Um, busy bodies, that kind of an energy, like a busy body energy around you. I mean, it could be a family member, you know, and you're just thinking, I don't really need this stress. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune coming in next for your leaves. The Wheel of Fortune comes out, Libra, to say it's time for action. Okay? But it's like time to address your own inner mechanism. There's something around Libra that's not quite functioning right at the moment. Okay? Hence why the emotional balance here is also out of sync. You seem to be going round and round in circles on something. Okay, if this is not the busybody and the nosy parker and someone who's not welcome around you. So I've got two storylines going on here. I've got Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Busybody trying to muscle in on your space and you're thinking, don't need this hassle, okay? And then on the other side, we've got going around in circles on something where you're trying to get your emotions in balance. And your inner workings feeling right. There's something affected you emotionally, something affected you physically that you need to get back on track. For some of you as well, we've got city flyers. They're just telling me now city flyers, flying high in the city, moving cities, finding a job in the city. If it's not you, it's somebody around you this week where I feel somebody is going to be presented with a job uh, or a location. It's something to do about visiting a city. Okay, Finding yourself having to go and visit a built up area this week. And it's not, I'm not saying like you're not your normal neighbourhood, physically getting in the car, catching a train, catching a bus, having to go there because um, of an appointment for one reason or another. Okay? So we will continue on Libra. What else have we got for the lovely Libras? And we've got the Three of Swords. It's weird how we've got three arrows here. Three people, three arrows. I want to say the energies of Libra, they do, whoever I'm tuning in with, um, you get this loneliness, a shadow. You know when I said like loneliness is only a shadow that fear puts on your wall to see. And the energies that I'm picking up with some of my Librans is you are very, um, very wounding to yourself, as in you will scrutinise your past, you will scrutinise how people have hurt you in the past, and you wear a lot of scars, okay? A lot of thorns in your side, Libs, a lot of thorns in your side. And in order to free yourself, to be happy and free, you've got to get untangled from past memories, past hurts, because you carry a lot. It's like, 
it's like they're telling me you're keeping yourself trapped in this environment it's like you it's like you can't pull those arrows out of your heart in the metaphorical sense it's like something something from your past wounded you so much that arrow head is embedded so deeply that you're fearful if you were to pull, pull the arrow out you're scared of the outcome you're scared of releasing that from your past but it's as though this is what you've got to do this week you have got to clear those thorns from your side you have got to be brave enough to psychically go into your heart chakra and clear the hurts that you have had embedded in there because when I look at the Three of Cups now, it's as though you are living in the here and now, but there's a ghost of a person that crowds in on your day to day through a mental uh, vision, a mental thought process. So when I started this reading, and it's weird how these readings sort of start to come out as a jigsaw puzzle to me when I'm reading them, okay? So I can only apologise if it's all disjointed, but it's the way spirit bringing messages to me. So for some of my Librans, we have got these busybody people poking their nose in around you, thinking, I don't need them poking their nose in, nosy parkers. Don't need to, them muscling in um, in my space. But then I've got these other Librans who the third entity, the third party, is a ghost from the past. In a metaphorical sense, it's your past that haunts you, that encroaches in, into the here and now. Hence why the cogs within you find it hard to keep going in a flow because the, the past is chugging up on the free flow. Okay, Hence why the two of pentacles comes in. Because to you, this is a tall order. I always think it's like a tall order for you to keep in balance. Very cryptic, very deep, Libra. Okay. But it's saying for some of you, you've got to get these thorns out your side from your past, and you've also got to um, remove these arrow heads. I feel there's three key people that have let you down in your lifetime. Three deep scars that you still wear on your heart. And spirits are saying, until you can be brave enough to pull those arrow heads from out of your heart, then your inner workings are never ever going to be free. So, Libra, wow. What else have we got for you then? And we've got the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands comes out for you to say the world that you live in, the world that you're holding, you find yourself in, is a world that shaped itself around you. It's not the world you wanted. It's not how you wanted to live. It's not how you want to live, okay? You gaze outwardly to the universe, and this is where the loneliness comes in when I picked it up in my poetic form this week, as though you gaze out to the stars and the universe thinking, I need, this is not me. I am not happy in how the world is. I'm not happy to even be in this world that is inflicted upon me. It's like you sit there contemplating 
how can I change the world I'm within? Very cryptic, Libra, okay? It also comes in on you need to shape your world to suit yourself as well. But I work with colours, as you know, those who are my long-standing subscribers, but she's wearing a green dress and green shoes, and this is about healing. So it can be a message to say, you've got to stay here at the moment. You have been put in this situation because you're not strong enough at this moment in time to take on it any more responsibility on your shoulders, okay? Basically, the message is the world can wait, Libra. The world can wait while you heal yourself. This message is coming through loud and clear now from spirit. We have pieced the jigsaw puzzle to place. Hence why your inner workings, okay, you're trying to get your inner health and all the cogs going in the right direction. But by doing so, you've got to do some inner work here on your past. Remove those deep scars uh, from what you wear on your heart. And the world can just stop as it is at this moment in time, Libra, until you heal yourself. Okay? Very, very cryptic. So let's have a look how your deep inner psyche is feeling this week. What are you hiding, Libra? How are you feeling this week? Deep within. And it's reconciliation. Okay? And when I look at the reconciliation in this instance, this is how you get pulled from past to the here and now. And it's, it's like... Your past pulls you back sometimes. And it's saying you've got to reconcile with your past. You've got to reconcile with your past hurts and release those. Because until you can reconcile with your own heart and repair that, okay, then you're not going to be able to move out of this emotional turmoil that sometimes you can find yourself feeling within. So your own inner spirit is saying, look, there's inner work to be done here. You've got to reconcile with your past in order to be able to carry on to the future. And that is why I feel in this instance, the Three of Cups, the, it's this unwanted ghostly energy uh, from your past that keeps creeping in, that holds you down and it affects you inwardly. Okay, hence why you need to emotionally get some balance back in your life. A lot of storylines going on here this week for the Librans, okay? But the main message is the world can stop and you can stop within it until you can heal yourself and reconcile with yourself. Wow, Libra. Libra, Libra. Let's have a look how the universe sees you this week. How does the universe see Libra? The cards are alive today, guys. Bear with us. Right. How does... The University of Libra this week, down the camera lens. How does the University of Libra? Wow, well, we've got this beautiful card for you, Libra. Again, look at the colour. We've got green and we've also got red. Now, the red here is circling around the lower back area. So some of you could be having pain in this area and discomfort this week, okay? And you need to get to the root cause of this because it's showing like the roots of a tree. But I feel there's pain emanating around some Libran's uh, back, lower back area to be mindful of. 
We also have two golden opportunities coming in for you. These eggs showing up in this basket that she's sort of gazing at in this card, okay? Here. And this can mean a couple of things, to be fair. It can mean that there's money being outlaid, okay? Like a nest egg that you've saved where you feel there's, you know, you might have to dip into that this week, into savings for some reason or another. So we've got that scenario for some of you. Also, investments, okay? Actually saving money, like trying to buy and sell things in order to try and um, top up your savings for some of you as well. So there's something about saving this week, looking at savings, drawing out savings. But because there's a J in this book, uh, there's a J in this card, okay? It can be just a symbol to say, look out for a J, nesting within your uh, living space. Because I feel if you see J's nesting this week, it's a sign from spirit. And it's a sign from spirit to say, you can't move at the moment from where you are. Because I feel some of you may have had plans in thinking uh, about moving from where you are, or maybe moving a job, something about moving, okay? There's something, an aspect around you regarding moving careers, moving house. But if any of you see a J, which is this bird here, if you Google what a J looks like, and not everybody in not every country is going to have a J, do you know what I mean? They are in the UK, so I'm sort of, um, this message is for people in the UK, really. I could be wrong, J's could be in other parts of the world, but I'm just going on what I'm seeing with the bird. Obviously, if you're not in the UK, this could be a kookaburra, it could be an exotic bird, just have a look at the card, at the bird itself, okay? If the, you get anything in resemblance to this bird and you see it nesting, and I mean close to your garden, literally within your garden, I'm not saying a nest that's like halfway down your street, I'm on about this nest has got to be within sight of your house, okay? Um, it's a message to say, you've got to stay put at this moment in time because you need to build up a small little fortune. You are more, you're going to be more lucrative in the long run if you stay put money wise than lifting the roots in a metaphorical sense, earlier than you should. So, all I'm saying is, if you see a bird nesting close to your home this week, because it's that time of year, it's a sign to say, you need to stay where you are, because you can earn a little nest egg here, you can save before lifting your roots to go and move later on. So basically in a nutshell, the message is trying to say, don't move at the moment, it's more lucrative to stay where you are. That was the, all around the garden to get to that message. So what are your animal spirit cards this week, Libra? What else have we got for Libra? Oh, and that definitely wants to come out. It's the raccoon, which is the alchemical sign of Earth. Okay. And we have the cosmic egg. Now, the cosmic egg is coming in to protect you. It's protecting you at this moment um, from some communication coming in. And this could be that nosy parker, that somebody, this third person that you don't want to sort of be muscling in into your space. So it's like the universe saying you need to protect yourself from this energy. It's also uh, a protective energy from your 
own um, darkest fears. I look at the raccoon as you and it's like the black and white of your personality. And raccoons can be quite timid creatures. And it more or less knocks back into my poetic words of loneliness is only a shadow that fear puts on your wall to see. So, try and lose the fear, okay? Try and ground yourself because at the end of the day, the spiritual realms, which this sign is um, portraying at the top of this card, it's trying to protect you. But I also want to say it's trying to protect you from an energy that isn't trustworthy. Okay? That isn't trustworthy as well. I want to say open your eyes, Libra, because I feel like somebody's trying to manipulate you in a sense. Or may down the line try and manipulate you later on. So I just feel like I want to get another clarifier for that card, to be fair. So let's just get another card for Libra. Libra, this is a very long reading for Libra. And we've got the fates. Okay. So, fate and destiny are protecting you. And it's, it's just basically saying, don't be fearful. Start trusting the universe and start trusting fate and destiny are bringing in or will bring in changes, okay, when the time is right. When the time is right. But I feel this energy of you need to be, you know, you need to stay where you are at this moment in time. Hence why there's one hoop circling here as in, as in a sort of a containment message as well. Very, very cryptic. Let's have a look at what the messages from your guides and angels this week then for Libra. What else have we got for Libra? And we have flower power. Spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing. But this is about getting in touch with nature. Okay. Um, getting in touch with nature. And also flower power, in a sense, can mean green fingers. As in getting your hands dirty. This week as well. You may have to get your hands dirty this week, uh, Libra, in something that's broken down, something that needs repairing. Because I, I always look at the flower power as like hands-on. It's like you need to get hands-on with something this week um, as well. So, but it's about getting yourself in nature. And it could be... Um, like I say, looking out for this bird nest. Okay, I've got you all bird watching this week. <laughs> I'm sorry, Libra. But you had this out a couple of times over the last few weeks and it's receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. But this is the, this is spirits. This is the spirit world giving to you. This week, okay, they are giving to you signs and symbols and protection, and they are bringing you a gift, okay, um, a gift of knowledge, a sign to say, I feel if you are frustrated at the moment, thinking nothing's moving, um, it's for a reason. It's for a reason because you will be more fortunate in the long run. 
that something didn't materialise. But for the majority of the reading this week for Libra, it's about getting rid of the ghost of your past. Okay? So my lovelies, that was a really long read for Libra this week. Um, so don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs. And until next time, my lovelies, do take care. Bye then.